Stories from under the belly of a faraway land. We know every story has a happily ever after. Tonight, scandal, crime, gossip and the weather. I'm Pearl. And I'm Florence. Our first story. Who is afraid of the big bad wolf? The famous villain is huffing and puffing after being arrested today, accused by the three little pigs of deliberately breathing heavily on, his, on their houses until they fell down. A lawyer for Mr Wolf claims that hay fever is to blame and that his client is a victim of negative media type. Here's our reporter Charlie with more. I'm here in the faraway jail with the big bad wolf and his lawyer. Mr. Wolf, you have been accused of destroying houses. How do you feel about these accusations? I feel so bad, but it's not my fault. I can't help eating all those human beings. Please forgive me. <laughs> You've been caught impersonating a grandmother and a sheep. Who is the big bad wolf, really? As you can see, the wolf is a very kind and loving soul, and the incident with both the grandmother and the sheep was completely an accident. I know it may not seem accidental, but it was caused due to instinct. The sheep jumped into my mouth! Enough said, thank you. Alright, well thank you for your words, Mr Wolf, and now back to the studio. Now for news of the escaped kidnapped heroes Hansel and Gretel. This story captured the hearts of the nation and caused a media frenzy last year. They have spoken out for the first time about their ordeal in their new book, Blackbirds Ate Our Breadcrumbs, the Hansel and Gretel story. Our reporter Sylvia was at the book's release in the deep dark forest, the scene of their terrible ta tale. Hello, I'm Sylvie and with me are Hansel and Gretel. You're obviously very rich now, having found all the jewels in the old witch's house. How do you plan on spending all that money? Well, I personally am going to go to the lolly shop and buy all the sweets I can get. And I've always wanted a family dog. I agree with the lollies. I can imagine every sugar-filled sweet melting in my mouth. But a dog, this needs, needs more discussion. Okay. Hansel, you're gr back in great shape after being fattened up for eating. How did you do it? The trick is to never give up. I go for runs every day and I like to hit the way. <laughs> that witch really wanted you fat for her dinner. And last, what have you learned through this experience? To never trust old ladies, even if they seem kind and have a house full of lollies. And to never trust ugly stepmothers. Okay, well, thank you for your time. Good luck with your ongoing recovery. Now back to the studio. Finally, there's a wicked whisper in the woods that is all not well, with the marriage of the celebrity couple Beauty and the Beast. After failed plans to start a fashion line and poor sales of their album of duets, sources are saying that happily ever after might not last much longer. Now to our reporter, Sienna. Thanks Pearl and hello everyone. I'm Sienna here in the beautiful mansion of Beauty and the Beast and hello and smooches to you both. Now, yours is a classic love story where two opposites fell in love against the odds. How's it going with you two? We are living happily ever after in the Beast Castle. We have been together for 23 years and we love each other, each other dearly. The only problem is that she never goes to dinner with me. That is not true. Is so. Is not. So, you're something of beauty, beauty, and you're something of total beast, beast. What is the reality of living with someone who is completely different from you? Well, she only has hair on her head, but spends more time in the bathroom than she does with me. Like, all I have to do is wash my hair, and my hair is silky smooth. I have to get used to him eating out of a bowl on the floor like a dog. Your recent duet album did not sell well and your fashion label has gone bust. What's next for you two lovebirds? We will be going to America's Got Talent. We are going to be ball dancing. Believe you can, then you will. Thank you for your time, Beauty and the Beast. I wish you all the best for the future. Now back to the studio. 
Thanks, Sienna. Now it's time for a faraway land weather update with Eve, who will have all the fairest weather of them all this week. Well, it'll be a mix of fair and foul. Faraway kingdom this week. In the north, there'll be gumdrops, lollipops and rainbows for everybody. The sun will shine and birds will sing from your shoulders until Tuesday. The deep, dark forest will be deep and dark all week, with occasional gusty winds and some witchy spells. Moving down the land, the green fields will be turned to snow white overnight on Wednesday. Wrap up warm if you're living in a house made of sticks, straw or gingerbread, because it's will be free fi fo freezing Finally, trolls living under bridges in the west might want to find a beanstalk to climb up on Friday. Heavy rain will lead to flooding. Otherwise, it's a happy ending to the working week for most of us. Thank you. That's the weather for tonight and back to the news desk. Thanks, Eve. That's all for tonight. Although we've, had, we've just had the word that the big bad wolf has escaped jail since the interview. He is hungry, angry and on the prowl. Keep your doors locked, stay safe from the whole... <laughs> Good night. Good night. <laughs>